Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the Sickly Vlog. As you know, I haven't uh, put out a vlog in the last couple of days. Uh, I had either food poisoning or the stomach flu. Something was seriously wrong. Uh, I got on the plane, I think, from Cincinnati to Toronto, and I just started getting these gurgly feelings in my stomach, almost like gas pains were happening uh, deep down and I'm like oh great gas pains on a plane not not pretty uh, and then I remember getting off the plane and then I uh, getting to the hotel and, uh, and actually you know what I didn't I didn't make it out of the airport I had to go to the washroom immediately when I got off the plane and uh, not to get too graphic it wasn't pretty and so I got to the um, I had to take the shuttle after I finished at the airport, I had to take the shuttle to the uh, hotel where Carl left the vehicle and wait for Carl's plane to land and for him to take the shuttle to the thing. So I just sat at the hotel for like an hour and a half and I had to go to the washroom again there and it wasn't pretty. Uh, same gurgly, disgusting feeling inside my stomach. Uh, and then Saturday I woke up, I think I got home at like one or two o'clock in the morning so it was really late on sat uh, Friday night, Saturday, early, early morning. I uh, woke up Saturday, totally fine, uh, had breakfast and everything, and then it just started going downhill uh, from there. I, I probably got up at around 10, 11 maybe, and then as the day progressed, it started going downhill really fast. I wanted to finish this vlog for you on Saturday, uh, but um, uh, i trying to think. Uh, I just started getting run down really fast. I started getting the, the chills, shakes, um, the stomach thing was going again. So I went to bed for five, six hours lying down and just rolling and rolling in the bed, trying to fall asleep to try to get rid of this illness, whatever the heck it is. Uh, and the whole time just kept burping up stomach acid and it was like burning my throat and I couldn't figure it out why. And I even took Tums to try and get rid of it. That didn't help, uh, and then around seven o'clock, my body just finally. And if you know what, I kind of describe it as it felt like there was a cork in my stomach and not letting what was in my stomach out of my stomach into my intestines and getting rid of it that way. Uh, and it just stopped everything uh, in my stomach, and it was almost felt like the acid just kept building and building and building. Uh, and then finally, around seven o'clock, I threw up, and it was one of the most violent throw-ups I've ever had. Uh, then I felt totally amazing, fine, like relieved in the stomach area, but my intestines and all that stuff were still doing the gurgly thing uh, all last night. And I haven't felt any of that this morning. Last night I just had like a big bowl of rice and water and crackers and things like that. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a heads up as to what happened the last couple days. I lost five pounds from Saturday morning to Monday morning. That's how empty I am right now. So, uh, so here's what happened on our last part of our vlog on Friday. And uh, we'll start a new vlog for today. All right, but I needed to explain that to you so you knew why I, you didn't get a vlog in the last couple days. Because I was violently ill. Here you go. Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. This is our last day. This will be a travel vlog all the way back to Toronto. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to finish, uh, put the finishing touches on yesterday's vlog. I just didn't have time to do it. Uh, so yesterday we went to, or last night we went to Hector's. I had the taco salad, first time ever. It was really good chicken. And uh, we had a couple Coronas, and then a television up there playing old fights from Muhammad Ali, which is really cool. It's been a long time since I've seen a Muhammad Ali fight. And uh, then we came back here and I had to put the Whataburger video together, which was a priority over the, the vlog video. Um, so I finally got the Whataburger done. It's launched, or it's up, it's ready to go. It'll launch at five o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, so I had to get that done. And then I just watched a couple crime shows and then went to sleep. So uh, it is a beautiful day here in Gun Barrel, Texas. Some jerk had a, a big semi 
rig out there and uh, I guess he slept in his rig but maybe it was cold last night or whatever and so he had like a generator that would turn on every I don't know 10-15 minutes and uh, luckily every once in a while my air conditioner would turn on at the same time so I didn't hear it but I wanted to go out there and hurt him yeah okay so uh, I'm just going to shower pack up all my stuff it's almost all ready to go uh, I got another hat so I got that one and then the camouflage one nice and uh, just get everything going and we'll be out of here I think we're leaving here at 11 but we definitely have to go and have breakfast first all packed up ready to go I just looked back at my bed and I was thinking what was I dreaming last night I like just ripped the bed apart what the what the hey put that back so the, the ladies don't think that I'm like some weirdo sleeping in their beds uh, so the lady that was looking after my room for me although when I'm in a hotel only for like three or four days the linens and everything are pretty well set to go for a single person in a room for three or four days so I always put the do not disturb sign on the door so then I just kind of feel good that nobody's in my room ever and uh, so that's what I do when I get to these hotels the do not disturb sign on the door uh, this hotel I was in room it wasn't 110 it was 114 and the elevator is right there I couldn't hear the elevator but I could hear the ding and luckily there's not a lot of people in here moving around all the time to hear the ding every time somebody pressed the elevator and then the elevator came up and the doors opened ding uh, the person every day was fine up until last night this person played their TV loud and it came through the walls uh, when somebody knocks on the door across the hall it sounds like they're knocking on my door. Uh, I did read a few reviews of this hotel saying that their walls are really paper thin and all that stuff. So they are. Uh, you just hope that you don't have really loud neighbors. So other than that, I really like the room. Um, yeah, everything was nice. And that's all I think I want to talk to you about. Location's perfectly fine. Um, it is a pretty hotel. The, I, I went downstairs and had two blueberry muffins, an orange juice, and a coffee because uh, Carl probably wants to go and actually have uh, breakfast somewhere other than downstairs. So that's fine. Right now I'm just uploading, trying to upload. So 70 minutes left, which could possibly interfere. I'm really hoping it speeds up because yeah, I don't want to show you. Um, I can't wait 70 minutes, I don't think. I think Carl wants to leave here at, at 11. Hmm. Anyway, so <laughs> I have five beers left over, so I thought I'd give them to the, the cleaning lady. Uh, room service, no, housekeeping. And uh, yeah, whatever's left over. Yeah, I had a couple beers. I was stalling there a little bit because I was trying to remember what I was going to tell you, which was, again, once you finish packing up, uh, or finish when I finish packing up, right now I need my computer, my mouse, my bag, and my charging unit, uh, and my bag is all packed, I made sure the bathroom was completely emptied, and then I go around, like I've told you before, check all the plugs, make sure there's no adapters left behind. And there's no adapter in there because <clears throat> people leave adapters so you always check your plugs and make sure you don't leave anything behind all right i guess we're going to be i guess i'll next time i talk to you will be maybe breakfast or the drive to the airport we are on our way to the airport we thought we'd stop at a texas restaurant called mcdonald's it's very famous here if they have anything that different from Canada. We're now in Dallas. We're coming up to, uh, I guess, exit 44A. This got to return the car. But uh, the city is really pretty. Uh, they got some really cool buildings. There's one building with a big hole in it. And it was designed that way. And it looks, it looks rock. And you can't see it from this angle. I don't think it's that building there, I think. Depending on what 
angle you're looking at it depends on whether you can see the hole in it so anybody from Dallas let me know what this building is and if you can go up in it or not thank you at the Dallas airport <clears throat> just uh, trying to book myself in hopefully I'll get a window seat got through uh, security and this is the first place where you actually had to remove every single type of liquid, aerosol, gel, anything, and had to put it in a separate container. So you had to go through your toiletry kit, take out your toothpaste. And if you had liquid gel deodorant, it doesn't matter. Everything had to be separated. It was unbelievable. Never, never had that before. Maybe they did do that in all the airports and they just changed up once in a while to make people keep guessing but it slowed the line down a little bit but I still made it through pretty quick and then I so I had a water and uh, it was in my hand but I forgot I put another one in my backpack so they pulled me aside and she went through my bag while we we're standing there and pulled the water out and he just apologized I even totally forgot I put it in there I thought I have plenty of time to drink my waters before but because I had another one in my hand, I thought that was the same one. Anyway, so now I just got to find Carl, and then we can uh, get something to drink. Just going to go check my flight. Uh, Carl and I just hung out there for a little bit, had a couple beers, and uh, now I'm just going to see if my flight is on time. But then I noticed these t-shirts, and it'd be kind of cool to have a Texas t-shirt. Uh, I'll have to check to see how much they cost. All right, so I just checked my flight, made sure that I was at the right gate. So E27, Delta, is where I'm going to be going. So uh, it is now. Come on. 2.42. And uh, my flight doesn't start boarding until 3.36. So I think it's time for another beer. What do you think? Yes. Uh, I was at, a, at the bar and I just grabbed a, a quick glass of water and uh, one of the waitresses or somebody came by and said, that's the wrong hat to be wearing here. I'm like, yeah, no. Anyway, so just to give you a heads up, the, the beer at that place was at uh, 11.30, yeah, $11.30. Yep. Time to get some water. Time to board. Thank you very much. So this uh, is being taken off? Thanks. Yeah, you're going to give it to the ramp agent and pick it up Plainside in Cincinnati. Okay, thank you. welcome. So I'll have to check my bag. They take it from us when I get to the end of the gangplank. And uh, then I pick it up when I get off at Cincinnati, which sucks because there's only 40 minutes between flights. I gotta like run and run and run. When this plane lands, I gotta go. So, in, like I said, in this particular case, we gotta leave our bags. Cool. We'll take our bags. Hopefully, they put it on somewhere close. Give me a ticket. I'll put that in my pocket right now. It looks like a really small thing. Shuttle. Not that I know what that's like. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> Nine out of nineteen. CRG 
J900, 9E. Just for those of you who love to know what kind of plane I'm on. I'm sitting in 19A. So I got an awesome view of the wing. One of the things I gotta remember to bring with me is something to wipe the window, because there's all often head slime on there. People bonking their head, it's just like grease. I gotta find something to clean it. My flight to Toronto in 40 minutes or less. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's cold. Thanks for the awesome flight, sir. Oh, Cincinnati's got cold. Oh boy. We won't be, yeah. I have to wait for my luggage. I gotta get a ticket, find what where my f connecting flight is to Toronto. Don't oh, no, we have time to pull up the thingy on the, the handle. So my next gate is B12. This way, I think I've got lots of time, but I have to get a boarding pass, make sure everything's all cool. It's a pretty cool airport. First time I ever been to Cincinnati Airport. Look at those chairs. Sweet. Massage chairs. Okay, gotta walk. So there's my plane. It's even smaller than the last plane. 
That's going to take me to Toronto. I have to do my declaration thing. Got my luggage nice and easy. I'm going to plug in some of my, plug my laptop in, see if I can finish my vlog before I get home. Also, I asked for a window seat and there isn't one left unless somebody doesn't show up. So, I'll have to find out who has a window seat, make an announcement that they're supposed to be at the other end of the airport, and that way I'll get their seat. Simple. We are on the ramp, as they call it now, I've learned. So hopefully I get his window seat, but we'll see. If I don't, oh well, it'll be the first vlog without a window seat. Gotta love the controls in the jet, man. Cool. It's snowing. Thank you. Thanks for the safe flight, sir. Buenas noches. This is the first time I had to get off like this in Toronto. Weird. Don't forget your bag. Very cool. search with the man with the rubber glove. This is the customs line. It is big. Check it out. Yeah, lots of people. Made it through customs, no problem. So, <clears throat> now I go off and then you have to give your last ticket to this lady. I love doing carry-on. Never have to wait for your luggage. Don't get to bring as much, but you don't have to wait. Now that's a big Coke machine. It's got a zipper on it. And this is the, the special gates where all your fans are waiting for you. And I have none, so. But there they are. Check it out. Look at them, they're screaming. Can, can, can. I don't hear it. So now I have to get the shuttle bus back to the hotel and then wait for Carl. He lands at 11, I think. I am back at home. It feels so good. I cannot wait until I'm in my own bed. That's gonna be a good thing. Uh, Carl just dropped me off at my car and uh, it is now one o'clock in the morning very very long day and uh, we ate at McDonald's as you saw earlier and Carl had nuggets and he got like a honey mustard and uh, he ate a bunch of his nuggets and then he said oh you can have the last three and because uh, I had the uh, the chicken McWrap and uh, what happened was He's like, oh, I think the, the honey mustard tastes funny. But I ate three nuggets, loaded it up with that mustard, and I think there's something wrong with it because my whole intestines and everything, the whole trip back is just like gurgling and gas pains. Oh my gosh, it was bad. And it had to have been that because that was the only thing I ate that was like really different than anything I, I normally eat. I don't usually have the honey mustard and the fact that he when he tasted it, he said it tasted funny. So, and I didn't taste anything funny about it because I don't eat it. So I don't know if it was tasted, if it tasted bad or not. So anyway, guys, I had a great trip. Thanks for coming along with me. I uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, I'm not sure, just to give you a heads up, I'm not sure if the San Francisco trip is happening anymore. Uh, something happened and nothing bad, but something happened and uh, I'm not, I might not be able to go to that. So that was supposed to be my next travel vlog. Uh, so basically I don't, like the next definite scheduled one is the, the VidCon, which is in, in uh, July. All right, uh, I'll, I'll be doing a, uh, another travel vlog when I go to the cottage uh, for the first week of the summer. So I'll do a travel vlog up there, all right? 
So hang tight. You never know what happened. will happen. It's going to happen. Night, guys. See ya.